Finding his artistic voice once again in wild places and wild things, we'd like to welcome Ryan Kirby, who is wildly original and next year's featured artist at the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. This is beautiful. Thank you. What would you call this? <laughs> this is uh, this is Golden Hour. Um, this is one of my pieces, pieces that will be featured at Siwi um, in February, and it's a 24 by 36 original oil painting on linen. It is gorgeous. And the golden hour, that is something that is celebrated here in the South, I think, by a lot of people. Yeah. It's a special time of day. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that as your inspiration? Well, you know, one thing I've noticed in the South is that um, the outdoors culture is deeply um, ingrained in, in the culture of the South. And the opening day of dove season is, is a holiday. You know, it's a big family affair. All your family and friends get together. So I wanted to just sort of uh, portray that in a scene that uh, you know not only does it have like it has a small hunter you know a dove hunter in the background oh, but um, it's a scene that, that portrays a southern landscape and a, a, a species that's really celebrated in the south and, and you are also an avid hunter yourself yes. and an artist so mm -hmm. how do those two marry what what is the intersection of those two well worlds? I got my start actually in outdoors and wildlife before I ever discovered a, a talent for art so I grew up on a farm and we you know we in were Illinois by, yeah, in Illinois, we were surrounded by wildlife and livestock, you know, from the time I was born. Yeah. And, uh, and really, that, that is what inspires my art more than anything, just my experiences outdoors with wildlife and nature. Um, you just, you see a lot of great things in the outdoors, you experience a lot of great things and meet some great people. So that, that is really what's fueled my career. And you say that you kind of rediscovered your artistic uh, prowess uh, since moving to Boone, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So what were you doing in between those times that you left Illinois and then you started up your art again? Well, I graduated college and then moved to South Carolina, to Edgefield, South Carolina, up by Aiken. And that's where I got my first job as a graphic designer in the outdoor industry and so I worked there for the Turkey Federation for seven years you know um, in the conservation outdoors world and that's really what was the segue to, to me working on my own in, in a career in wildlife art um, one of the things I work, do a lot is I work with conservation groups mm -hmm. and um, a lot of the art that I do helps raise money and fund conservation groups. Oh, that's wonderful. That's yeah. great. And you've been featured in, in many magazines and in fact, mm -hmm. um, was it Outsider Magazine? That Outdoor Life. Outdoor Life. Yeah. Yeah. Outdoor Life. And, and tell us a bit about that because it was obviously a special piece of work that you had created that mm -hmm. was the impetus for them to put it up on the cover of that magazine. Yeah, we they, they used to do um, fine art covers way back in the day before modern photography. Yeah was got to where it is you know digitally and so you know throughout the the 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s they did art on the cover because they couldn't run photos mm -hmm. um, so they had they had departed from that for about 20 years and I had actually done some illustration work for the for outdoor life and field and stream and I met with their their editors and we talked about bringing back sort of a retro cover with fine art on it. And so we ended up doing it in 2012 was the first one and did six in a row. Oh. So it was really cool to, you know, for okay. to, to go back to that kind of vintage vibe and feel and yeah. to use art to do that was a really cool experience. That's wonderful. Well, it's very exciting for folks here in Charleston. Siwi is just so ingrained in the culture and it is deep within the hearts of so many people who mm -hmm. live here. And so you're getting ready to unveil the 2023 featured piece. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this. Well, the featured piece, it's a big one. It's probably the biggest painting I've ever done. And it's used a lot for the marketing and advertising for the event. So um, Siwi uses the, the piece throughout a variety of promotional items. So it, there's a lot of eyeballs on it and it, there's a lot of How big uh, is it? Uses. It's a 36 by 48. Ooh. So the canvas is probably the same size as this piece here. Oh, that's that's very um, large. So we're going to unveil that this Friday yes. or this Saturday, sorry, yeah. at the uh, Flyways event at the Visitor Center. It's called so. the Departure. The Departure. Can can yes. you give us a hint? It's as to three pheasants. I can, that's about all I can tell. That's I all you can say. Me under lock and key. On <laughs> yeah, that okay, for a very while. good. Yeah. So you just need to go down there and yeah. to check it out for yourself in person. Um, well, that's wonderful. And so see we this year. Uh, just make sure that folks you head out. It's happening February 17th through the 19th and various locations and just lots of excitement. So one last question for you. What is it like being the featured artist for Siwi, the event that draws people from all over the world uh, yeah, to come and see your work? It's it's great. It's it's a lot more than just being a, an, an exhibitor. I'll yeah. tell you that much. But it's it's a really great honor. There's been a, I, this is our 10th year at the show. 
and I've watched a lot of really great artists come through. Yeah. And so even to be in that caliber is is humbling. But also, you know, I tend to work really hard and bring my best work to the show. So. And I'm sure you're constantly working on things all the time. Mm -hmm. So how do people find out more information if they want to commission a work or to purchase yeah. something? Yeah, so ryankirby.com is my website. Okay. Um, I'm probably most active on Instagram at yeah. ryankirbyart. But they can always stay up to date with Seawee. Um, we're going to be featuring an online auction as I go, as I as I do new work. Wonderful. It's going to be available on Seawee's website. Fantastic. So, and then obviously in person at the show is going to be the best way. Well, congratulations, Ryan. Thank it you was very such a much. pleasure to meet you, and this is just beautiful, really breathtaking work. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're back in two minutes.